Google builds and maintains one of the world's foremost networks of data centers. Access to Google data centers is tightly controlled. It's in Google's policy not to allow public tours or site visits, and even Google employee access is restricted. Cars and trucks cannot gain access to the facility grounds until they've been verified and allowed to enter the facility. All vehicle access to the data center is controlled by a restricted barrier. Security fencing around the perimeter helps ensure that all authorized access occurs through this checkpoint. Google data centers are watched by a comprehensive set of video monitoring cameras, and we can see several of them as we drive into the facility. Once granted access to the facility, authorized personnel must check in at a reception area, such as the one shown here. Access throughout the facility is controlled by badges that use a special lenticular printing mechanism that makes it especially difficult to copy or forge. Access logs are automatically scanned to make sure that anyone who entered an area also left it. Some of Google's data centers utilize biometric devices, such as iris cameras, to verify identity. And security personnel also check a roster of authorized people permitted access. Although we are inside the facility, we're still not yet on the data center floor. This part of the facility is basically a traditional Google office. The business required to run the data center is mostly conducted here. Access to the actual data center floor is restricted by badges and in some data centers, biometric methods. In this example, an iris camera is being used. One of the most important elements of the machines that Google builds are the hard drives, especially for Google Apps customers, as this is where we store their business data. Google takes great measures to protect its customers' data, and the security and protection of that data is paramount. Google's customer data is stored in multiple locations to help ensure reliability. The files that store the data are given random file names and are not stored in clear text, so they're not humanly readable. For each hard drive that is received in one of our data centers, Google rigorously tracks its location and status. When a hard drive fails or begins to exhibit performance problems, it's brought to this area, where it's reformatted and retested. If the hard drive does not pass these tests, it's removed from the rotation. The data on the hard drive is then overwritten to help ensure that no customer data remains on it. The data override is then verified with a complete disk read. This process helps ensure that there's no trace of customer data remaining on the hard drive. For hard drives that have reached the end of their life, Google has a destruction process that is designed to further ensure that none of the data on that drive can ever be accessed. The drives are destroyed in a multi-step process. One device that is used to destroy old hard drives is known as the crusher and is shown here. A steel piston is pushed through the center of the drive and the platters are deformed, making them unreadable. Another step in the process is the drive shredder, shown here. As you can see, no one will be likely to get any of Google's customers' data from these drives. After the crushing process, the remains are sent to recycling centers. Google maintains an extra backup of the data in the data center that is stored on these tapes, shown here. This provides a level of redundancy to help safeguard its customers' data. Google data centers are protected by robust fire detection and suppression capabilities. This panel shows the current state of fire detection in the data center. Everything is clear now. In the event of a fire or any other disruption, Data access for Google's customers is designed to automatically and seamlessly shift to another data center so that they can keep working and their business can continue uninterrupted. The Google data center is constantly monitored by personnel using sophisticated video equipment. This monitoring station allows the security team to view video feeds from many areas in the data center. If the security team spots something out of the ordinary on the video surveillance, they are trained to immediately respond and investigate. Mobility and rapid response in the data center are enabled by the use of carts, jeeps, and scooters. Google maintains relationships with local law enforcement, and should the need arise, they can be called on site. It's been many years since Google built its first data center, and along the way, they've evolved into sophisticated data center designers. As you've seen in this video, Google works to secure and protect its customers' data with numerous safeguards. Some of the ones we've highlighted in this video include physical barriers and perimeter fencing, 24-7 security presence, access control with badging and biometric identification, local law enforcement response, video monitoring and video analytics, data protection, file fragmentation, replication, and storage, hard drive lifecycle management, and fire detection and suppression. Google's customers benefit from these technologies and processes, and they help ensure their data is kept secure and protected.